Enterprise Management 360. Hi, I'm Ross. And I'm Tom. And welcome to the first episode of Tech Chat. This is your week in enterprise tech news. Let's get started. Deloitte Insights have released their executive summary on the top enterprise trends for this year. Now, cloud, analytics, and emerging technologies have been at the forefront of the disruptor mantle for the past 10 years. But what we're seeing now is the rise and the resurgence of technologies such as cognitive science, uh, digital realities, and as much as it has the stability of New York during a Marvel fight scene, blockchain is also making another rise. Well, it's, you know, it's interesting the word, the disruptor mantle, because this is a disruptor in the sense that these are not financially viable options for a lot of smaller companies and startups. You know, they're disruptors because they're expensive. And I, I was speaking a little while ago to Ruud Hausman, who's the marketing strategist of Unibright. And what Unibright is, it's a unified framework for blockchain-based business integration. So blockchain, a lot of the time, really expensive to implement and really difficult. A lot of the time, you need the resources such as the right scientists to develop it. What Unibright is allowing now is allowing companies to integrate blockchain technology into their existing businesses. So while this is now a disruptive mantle for some, while it's you know preventing a lot of other companies from uh, progressing, it's also actually being an opportunity for companies such as Unibright to provide solutions to other companies. Absolutely. And speaking of integration in general and trying to adapt to uh, new forms of business, we're finding now uh, through a report uh, by Gartner that 37% of companies have implemented AI in some form. Now that's insane because considering that only a few years ago, it was about 10% of respondents to surveys were saying that they were using AI in their companies. Last year, that moved up to about 26 to 28%. Now it's 37 so the growth is only exponential and we have no idea where else it's going to go. I mean, the growth is big, but the thing I always wonder about AI is, is AI a little bit of a buzzword? We hear a lot of the time in the past, we had IoT, we've had cloud, we've had all sorts of different kind of words that the enterprise likes to put on to make themselves seem a lot more current. And maybe it's a bit of my cynicism, but I have to wonder how large the definition of AI really is. Is machine learning really always intelligent? See, the way I would classify it is it's not real AI unless it's enslaved every human being around it. But (laughs) yeah, yeah. But um, what we're finding actually with the buzzword of AI is that a lot of people aren't realizing that there are new demands and higher demands for AI engineers, data scientists, and people that generally work towards optimizing and automating different tools and different programs. Now, What we're finding is a lot of these new recruits, uh, because the high demand is getting a lot of people from all corners, they are used to, at some points, some very informal toolkits or some toolkits that haven't been tested as much by big companies. So what happens is when a big company takes a risk with someone that is willing to offer new ideas and new toolkits, they end up being able to innovate on their AI and on their data with way more efficiency and with it being way more cost effective. So whether it's a buzzword or not, we're still finding a lot of people that are finding interesting new ways of making AI be implemented all over the world. Thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Tech Chat, presented to you by Enterprise Management 360. For more content like this, visit us at em360tech.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We hope to see you next week.